Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Doug, or when I'm busy, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a cinema slash film effect. Uh, Rise Against 200 asked uh, last week, uh, he said, hey Doug, nice videos, I had no idea how to use Photoshop before this. I was wondering if you knew how to, do, how to create a cinematic portrait from a photograph, and then uh, keep the vids up if you have time, thanks. So, uh, what he wants me to teach him is how to do this. As you can see, it looks pretty nice, and this is the uh, image that we start off with. So from that to that, it looks pretty epic, I thought. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this today. And uh, the image right here that we're going to use is in the description. So underneath this video, go in the description, get the URL, and uh, use the same photo so that you can learn easier and follow along. Alright, so after you get this picture into Photoshop, you're going to want to duplicate the layer. You can either drag this down here or click on it and hit Control J at the same time. So once you have the background uh, duplicated, because it's always a good idea to have your background saved so if you mess up you can start over, you want to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and then uh, Hue is zero, Saturation is going to be negative 60, and then Lightness is zero. So what that did is it grayed it out a little bit, made it look a bit cooler. Now we're going to go to uh, Image, Adjustments, Exposure, and we're going to change the exposure to 1. Offset to negative 0 0.15. And Gamma Correction at 0 .9, 0 0.90. Alright, so that effect looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the same layer that we just made. So once again you can click and drag down to this little box right here or hover over it and hit control J. Alright, now we're going to go to filter. And then we're going to go to blur. Lens blur. And you're going to want to copy down all the settings that I have right here. So preview clicked, faster, source is none shape hexagon 6, radius 15, blade 3, rotation 0, brightness 2, threshold 200, amount 0, uniform. So if you guys need to pause and check that out, make sure you copy all those the uh, exact same way and then hit OK. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to get the brush tool and you're going to hit this mask right here, this little button. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to pick an area of the picture that you want to click to unblur. So for me, I'm just going to click uh, about right here, right in the center. And I'm going to click uh, about two times. So as you can see right there, that looks pretty nice. It's got it's all blurred around on the edges. So that's pretty cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer get the paint or the bucket tool and we're going to change the color to all zeros which is just black and we're going to paint over it and now on this layer we're going to go to the opacity settings right here and you can change it to whatever you want but for me I'm going to put it at 30 okay and then what you're going to do now is you're going to hit the mask button again and click the paintbrush tool and click it in the exact same spot you did last time as you can see the circles are white when I move it around but when I get it to the same area it's black so I'm going to do that I clicked it twice just like last time and there you go that's the the effect that I was going for that looks pretty nice so that's the cinema effect and if you want to make it to where it looks like it's from a film make a new layer so now that I made a new layer, then I'm going to go up to this tool, Rectangular Marquee Tool, make the selection, right-click, fill, go to color, pick solid black, hit OK. And now what we're going to do is you can duplicate the layer and go to this uh, pointer tool. You can move it around. Alright, now hit Control D to deselect. 
And now there you go. Now you have the image that it looks like a film. Looks the same on this picture except for my black is a, a bit wider on this picture that we just made. And yes, this is the uh, the outcome of the picture. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will have more videos posted. So if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. And when this video hits a thousand views or gets a good amount of ratings, I will come out with another video. So hopefully you guys uh, get a lot of views or help me get views on this and rate this video so that I can post another video tomorrow. Because I really do uh, enjoy helping you guys with these videos. So, yep, leave comments. The feedback is welcomed. Like this video. If you have a video response of uh, your own tutorial that you want to show off, send it in and I'll approve it so people can see it. And make sure you check out these two videos right here. Uh, I put a lot of work into them and the views are kind of low. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.